Tony, thank you. The U.S. government said it's ready to provide disaster relief to Haiti, where the full extent of Matthew's damage is still unknown. Tonight, we're hearing from one local, or local organization that's been unable to reach its members providing assistance in that country. Iowa News News reporter Madeline Wright continues our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage for you live in our studio now. Mike, the storm has passed, but villages in Haiti remain flooded. Homes destroyed, thousands of people displaced. To make matters worse, communication systems are down. Some folks here in New England have no way to get in touch with the people they know in Haiti. With high winds and torrential downpours, Hurricane Matthew slammed into Haiti, damaging cell phone towers and other forms of communication. It's quite challenging right now to feel a little bit um, helpless. Marilyn Lowney is executive director of the Haitian Health Foundation, a Connecticut based nonprofit founded by a man from Fall River. She's had no contact with any of her 184 staff members in Jeremy since Monday. I've been calling and uh, calling around to the United Nations in Jeremy, the embassy, um, our partners on the ground there. The Haitian Health Foundation provides health care in southwest Haiti, the area hit hardest by the storm. Lowney says her staff has no internet or cell service. I'm very concerned. I am just holding out hope that everybody is physically safe. Monday is also the last time we talked to her staff. This is what Haiti National Director Nadesha Mihoba told us the day before the storm. The worst is going to be after the hurricane lives. Leaves us. Lowney is hoping the best for her staff. She imagines they're working round the clock delivering food and medicine at the clinic. This is an area that was already extremely desperate before the hurricane. They didn't have enough food, you know, no access to medical care except through us. The government hospitals are all on strike. Lowney says she's planning to send some staff members from California to Haiti this weekend with satellite phones so they can finally get a connection. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Madeline. And people here in Rhode Island are wondering how they can help Haiti. Nancy Schwab is the owner of Petite Chef, a place that holds children's birthday parties in Warwick. Schwab donates $10 from each birthday party to the Haitian Health Foundation. When the group reaches $150, they buy a pregnant goat for a family in Haiti. Now, goats provide milk, cheese, and protein. Schwab says she's now considering using the goat money for Hurricane Matthew relief. It's devastating, and this people in this village just can't get a break. I mean, the, the earthquake was devastating, and from what I hear from uh, Maryland, from the Haitian Health Foundation, I mean, there's no communication there now in the village of uh, Jeremy, which is where we concentrate our efforts. Schwab has taken part in the Give a Goat program for the last several years. 